on our training plan today is an easy recovery spin after the weekend's efforts down in Harrogate however we are quite short on completing the requirements for the uh, Zwift Academy so we thought we'd jump in and do a race um, as you can see we are quite near the back currently just picking our way off through some of the DCAT riders and that's because we missed the start we just weren't ready in time we begun to drop then we got our shoes on and tightened it was away so to be fair probably a good thing because as I say we're not really meant to be stressing too much so we'll just do a couple of laps in the Guardia put a few little efforts in like this little climb but we're certainly not racing far from it we'll just take the legs over we should be able to pick up a few more riders and we've just gone into lap 2 there's a super short circuit at the LaGuardia so we're already under 12k to go to the finish I reckon we can still pick up a couple more riders without having to put too much effort in so the ride down to Harrogate as you saw from the previous video or from the video from Harrogate didn't quite go to plan on a couple of different levels first and foremost and most dis disappointingly for the vlog something went wrong with the GoPro files and I've got the first little rollout but then it all went wrong from there and I don't know what happened but the files have become corrupt unfortunately there's nothing significant to show you could be the rain? I don't think so I mean I'm using a GoPro session 5 it be waterproof so can't think that would be the reason could be the memory card that was in the machine I'm not sure anyway the upshot is there's very little footage from the ride itself which is a shame because I had my, had my phone wedged into a, a little polyurethane packet which I picked up from the uh, the hunt stand at the Cycle Expo and that wasn't for coming out especially on the bike it was hard enough getting out at the feed stops just to text Kate to see where I was but yeah unfortunately I couldn't get out mid ride to take some pictures because the scenery was stunning despite the awful weather it was still a really nice ride in parts I mean some of it were proper grim the descents were sketchy. I mean, not only was the the fitness a factor, obviously, but the weather had a big factor to play in the fact that in the three segments that I split it up into, the third one was by far the slowest. And yeah, that was fitness. Struggling a little bit with cramps. But it was also to do with the speed on those descents it was really slow. I mean. I know at some places I was down to under 30 kilometers an hour which take into account how steep some of those descents were that shows just how heavy I was on the brakes but anyway it was still a good ride I still enjoyed it lovely part of the world just a shame the sun wasn't out anyway onwards and upwards we did go into it with the the strict purpose of it was a trainer ride we were nowhere near as fit as we wanted to be at the end of season but good marker for where we are we know where we need to get to be so now it's just a case of knuckling down getting the work done continuing to get the weight off and then see where we lie we come into spring. Tell you what, that canyon frame, those MV wheels look fantastic, don't they? Thumbs up, thumbs down, drop me a comment. Which reminds me, there will be part two of the bike the bike build project coming up very soon. There's some more components 
arrived in the post yesterday. I've also got an announcement to make regarding the wheels that I've decided to put on the bike. Or maybe I won't. I've certainly decided what I'm putting on them. However, they're built by hand. They won't be here until November. So, yeah. Might leave the announcement until they arrive. I might just tease you with some stats. In fact, I think, I think that's what I will do. I'll tease you with some stats and see if you can hit me up in the comments with what it is I'm putting on. So we've got another rider just 12 seconds in front. We'll catch them. We might get the one at 20. Just dipped under 6k to go. We might catch, we might not. Interesting that was somebody passing there. It's wearing the UCI jersey, the Sportif jersey from the Harrogate UCI Sportif on Sunday. The white and the Union Jack with the UCI flesh, she's in it. A nice looking jersey. This is where we can make a little bit of ground up, drop a couple of gears, and then just use that power to climb. Keep going till it flattens. Get the biggest benefit. Here we are. Now we can cruise. Two laps to go. It's approaching four and a half kilometers. Third across the line. Considering we started about 100, that's not too bad. Good little effort hidden inside there. A lot of easy riding. Could have been, could have been just a straightforward, easy cruise. But anyway, that's it. That'll be today's workout. Well, actually, that'll be today's video. We'll be doing a workout later on today. Fingers crossed. There's some Yorkshire action coming up. Obviously, Zwifter down in Harrogate. As you'll have seen on the on the previous video, and they're, they're organising some some events throughout the World Championships. So today it's a well, it's all individual time trials. Today it's on the uh, I think it's the Pump House Eight. It's a reverse circuit of the UCI course. Two laps, I reckon. I think it's about 25, 27 k, something like that. So yeah, if we get a chance, we'll jump on and do that. Um, you never know. By the time you've seen this, I might have decided to live stream. Not entirely certain. But anyway, that'll be it for today's video. So as ever, appreciate you dropping me a thumbs up and hit me up in the comments down below if anything you want to chat about. So, hit the like button, smash it, tickle it, just use it. Subscribe to the channel, make sure you're using the notification bell, which is sort of down here. Make sure you use the notification bell, then you'll know when the videos go live. 
Share the video, spread the love, and as ever, see you soon for some new videos. Oh, we incline there. Anyway, right on. Where we can go Where it's always shining